Eileen Collins made history as the first woman to pilot and command a spacecraft, paving the way for future generations. And now she's the subject of a new documentary called Space Woman, which looks at her remarkable achievements and trailblazing career. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, went to meet her. Five, three engines up and burning. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. She's the woman who smashed through the glass ceiling, and then just kept on going. Eileen Collins made history as the first woman to pilot and command a spacecraft. In a way, it's going to be hard to come home because I do like being in space so much. It feels almost natural to be up here. Now she's the subject of a new documentary, Space Woman. So take a look here. That's the heat shield on the yeah. bottom. You can see where there's some of those pieces broke off. And we met her at the Science Museum. I was reading a magazine article on the Gemini astronauts. I was probably nine years old, and I thought, that's the coolest thing, that's what I want to do. Of course, there were no women back then, but I just thought, I'll be a lady astronaut. But that little girl set her sights even higher. She wanted to be at the controls of a spacecraft. And the only way to achieve this was to become a test pilot in the military. After a decade in the Air Force, she'd made it and was accepted by NASA. She was chosen to pilot her first mission in 1995, and the eyes of the world were on her. As the first woman to pilot the space shuttle, I didn't want people to say, oh, look, the woman made a mistake. Because it wasn't just about me, it was about the women to follow me. And I wanted there to be a reputation for women pilots that was hey, they're really good. She was so good, she was quickly promoted to commander. A job she juggled with being a mum to two young children. I felt like I had the two best jobs in the world. I was a mother and I was a space shuttle commander. I'm going to tell you it is harder to be a parent than to be a space shuttle commander. But the best training I ever had for being a commander was being a parent, because sometimes you have to say no. You have to learn how to say no to people. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with... But in 2003, the shuttle program experienced a catastrophic failure. As the Columbia spacecraft launched, a piece of foam broke loose, damaging its heat shield. The shuttle broke up as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, killing all seven astronauts on board. After a two-year gap, Eileen Collins was chosen to command the next mission. Did she think about quitting? I think quitting the mission would have been very the opposite of brave. And I wanted to be a brave leader. I wanted to be a confident leader. I wanted to instill that confidence in other people. Six, five, three up and burning. But during her launch, the nightmare scenario happened again. Some foam broke off. And no one knew what the damage was. The solution? Putting the shuttle through a 360 degree somersault. Closing at a rate of one and a half feet per second. While it passed under the International Space Station. They are 650 feet. So astronauts could thoroughly check it out. It was something that had never been done before. And there were engineers and managers saying, that can't be done, that can't be done. You know, all these reasons why it's too dangerous. And after I listened to the discussion, they knew I was the commander. I said, it sounds like we can do it. And it became just an elegant solution. And I loved it. The somersault revealed there was damage to the shuttle's underside and a spacewalk was needed to fix it. Steeper than that of a standard commercial airliner's descent. It meant the crew could safely make it home. The flight was over, and for Eileen Collins, it was the last time she would go to space. So what advice would the astronaut give to kids who share her dream? Do your homework, listen to your teacher, pay attention in class, and read books, and that will give them something to focus on. Eileen says she has no regrets about ending her astronaut career when she did, but... If someone said, oh, we've got an extra space on that mission, would you, would you be tempted? Yes, I would love to go on a mission. Someday when I'm an old lady, maybe I'll get a chance to go back in space. 
Those that follow in her footsteps will learn just how much she achieved, not only as a woman, but as a formidable pilot and commander. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News. And I'm really thrilled to say that Eileen Collins will be joining me in about an hour's time here on the set. Uh, really looking forward to talking to her. What an inspiration and an incredible story and lots of advice and words of wisdom that she has to share with us as well.